Hello my Leos, welcome back. So today I'm just going to take a peek into you, see what comes up. How you doing? Just checking you out here. <laughs> okay, keep in mind guys, this is a general reading, so take what resonates. I read how I read, and if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is in the description box below. <clears throat> In the pre-shuffle, when I was focusing on your energy, Leo, you... There's something from your past you're still dealing with. For some of you, this may be a memory, but others of you, this could be a person that you're dealing with, family, something like that. And I'm just getting it's like the same thing over and over and over again, you know, same problem, same issue. This person may talk about the same stuff as well. It's like they're just, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you're not dealing with somebody who's very spiritually evolved in whoever they are to you. Could likely be a family member or your family as a collective. I don't know. But you'll know what I mean. It's like, it's very tiring the intensity of this could increase. This person may, you know, if it hasn't already started, they may really kind of start to drive you nuts. <laughs> you know, you're, but Spirit, I think, is doing this because it's trying to get you to have a breakthrough here. I want to say that you, um, you need to get away from something, either like physically moving, releasing yourself, energetically or physically going. You know, I don't know what it is that I'm talking about, but you might, it's its like there's something about your surroundings that the universe is trying to get you to move forward, you know? And I just keep getting that you might be dealing with this because it's part of your past in some way. But you need to forgive your past or forgive, forgive. I kept hearing forgive yourself. But yeah, you're going to be, you might be receiving a lot more signs from the universe because it's, it's almost like they're like screaming at you. You... It's possible that you're, you've been lacking mental clarity in a specific area or something emotionally for a while. Well, it's, I feel like it's going to become blatantly obvious to you, the sign. There's going to be just a moment of realization where, where you, it's like you understand or you know what you want. And this is going to accelerate your energy. So if you've been feeling sluggish and kind of blue, I'm getting like, I'm going from blue, I'm getting colors, blue to like a red and orange. And this just could be symbolic from, you know, hot, um, cold to hot, being inspired. I'm getting you're gonna be inspired and you're going to move towards this, whatever this is, this idea, this what whatever, it, it is that you want. And you'll probably realize it suddenly. It's like where you've had so much lack of clarity, it's almost like suddenly it will be clear to you. I really encourage movement for you, Leos, just in general, pursuing, going after something, because you're going to get an opportunity here. I feel as if, though, this might not be a completely new opportunity. It's like it's been accessible or possible to you it's it's almost like but I feel like you you're bogged down by your past in some sort of way so regardless of whether you see it or not it's it's like you haven't been going towards it well something's going to shift that energy some of you may feel very lonely inside even if you're around a bunch of people I feel like a lot of you are around the wrong types of people 
or you're not with who you want to be or you're not where you want to be, something along those lines. But um, I want to say that you will be inspired. Go for whatever this is, Leo, whatever this is that you realize in that moment. Speaking very generally, because for some of you, you have different wants. But whatever, whatever it is that you do want, the universe is going to give you an opportunity. I think you're going to go for it, which is exciting for me. I think you should. All right. Well, <laughs> your choice, though. Always your choice. All right, universe, can you give me messages? Messages for Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. See, this goes back to the energy of what I'm saying. You could be doing something out of comfort or, or feel or because it's been around for a long time or or they're your family or whatever. But what you need to understand that there's something in your life that's just not for you. Something that you're not finished with yet. You could have been, again, dealing with this for a long time and a finished symphony. It's like you're not finishing something. You're not letting go of either a memory or, or an actual... It's like you're still here, but it's not for you. And you probably know that. Or you may come to realize this. Fork in the road. You're going to... I was getting that also, like having to make... There's a choice. You're coming upon a choice. I feel, though, that you've already been here for a moment. It's like um, sitting in the car, engine running. Not... I haven't picked the path yet. <clears throat> It's like you're really conflicted to, I just keep wanting to say you've been conflicted on following your path or what that is, but I think that's going to change for you, Leo. Really too. I feel that energy at least, but <clears throat> you might still be in a state of conflict, of uncertainty um, for the moment. But it's because you, you haven't made a choice. But not making a choice is also a choice. So you're sitting here in this sort of like, yeah. All right, um, universe, what's going on for Leo, please? What's going on for Leo? Yeah, see, this is <clears throat> this is very strong energy of endings. But that's that's what I've been picking up. Movement. You need to move forward. The world card. Cycles closing out. Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Swords. Okay, so in order to bring change. Something needs to end, but regardless, it's getting to the point I'm, I'm feeling, I'm hearing <laughs> that re regardless of if you end it, it's going to end. The universe is now going to step in. An ending will bring happiness for you. Your happiness is on the other side of an ending. <clears throat> Healing of emotions. You could be dealing with the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You could it could be a water sign that's significant to you. Um, let's see what else is going on. <clears throat> yeah, something is woof. Leo, something is falling apart. You're dealing with this energy, the Queen of Swords. She cuts things out of her life. The universe is going to cut something out, or you will. 
you do it or I do it is sort of what's going on here. Um, the Tower and the Five of Cups. You might be disappointed now looking back in something that already ended from the past. I mean, you've got three cards of ending here. And then the Wheel of Fortune, a card of change. Yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling regret. There could have been something, a blessing that was given to you by the universe and it's almost like it ended or you kind of, you didn't choose it. But now I feel as if you kind of wish looking back that maybe you didn't make that decision. It could have been in a relationship or a job opportunity. It was something that challenged your uh, belief or your way of, it just took you out of your element, whether that's travel or it just challenged everything you knew from growing up, your environment. And uh, so whatever this was, it's like you, 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 I feel like it was you that chose to end it. Because I'm feeling like it's like somebody went back to something that they've been dealing with, like something comfortable. When the universe was wanting you to change for your higher self. But in the midst of all of this, all of these things, there could be several things changing for you at one time. <clears throat> Some of you could be entering, depending on when you were born, um, you could be entering into your Saturn return here because I just feel like the universe is going to come in and kind of correct some stuff. <laughs> but the overall, the sun card, enlightenment, um, it will be better. Whatever these things are that are being taken from you or that are changing or ending, um, whether that's happening or coming up, if this doesn't resonate for you, then it's coming up. Know that you will be happier. Eventually. Some of you may move. All right, so let me get a final card, please, um, before I close it off. I'm feeling like this is the wrong deck. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it is. Like, I'm sorry, guys. I got to take. I want to take this one. All right. Final upcoming message, please, for Leos. Final upcoming message for Leos. Final upcoming message for Leos. Attachment at the bottom of the deck. See, again, you're holding on to something here. And Angel of Strength, this is your energy. This is kind of like the Leo card. You will be strong. You will endure this. Um, I actually sensed that your movement was going to increase. So um, some of you may, I feel like it's you. You're going to say something. You're going to express your truth after thinking a lot about it. Telling someone your truth. Or maybe that's just being strong enough to live your truth. That's possible as well. The, um, This may have taken you a while to figure out and everything that's happened to you I, I was helping you along the way. So I guess you kind of had to go through this. Okay, but I'm getting that you are going to express. Or they're encouraging you to do so. 
All right, um, I'm gonna close it off, Leah. You could be dealing with an air sign, water sign. That's mostly what I see, but whatever. Whatever sign resonates, this is mostly about you. Anyway, um, all right, bye-bye.